read a great book about Diego when I was at film school back in the late 90s. And it, it really dealt with his private life and he dealt with the background of where he came from. And I just remember thinking, I read this book and I remember thinking, I was making short films at the time. God, it'd be great to make a film about Diego Maradona one day. What a character, what a story. And it was like, that was in the late 90s. And many years later, 20 years later, the kind of opportunity came along. And it was just this idea of this brilliant footballer who's very famous, but also this really complex and uh, diversive character that people kind of hate or love. And I, I always think there's kind of, had all the ingredients for a good movie, I guess. These films are all like research and investigation. It's never simply just sitting there neatly labelled, you know. There was this rumours that there was this personal footage and this archive that um, had been filmed. His first agent had decided in the early 80s to make a movie about Diego Maradona and hired two Argentinian cameramen to follow him around. And so some of the personal footage and some of the football material comes from there. But his film was never completed. Um, so my producers were able to deal with Maradona and with these cameramen to get the material. But that was just the beginning. Then we had to kind of research everything in Argentina, everything that happened in um, Barcelona, everything else that went on behind the scenes in, in Naples and post-Naples. So I've thrown on that really well. I drive everyone mad. And then once we've edited and we have a long cut, then we decided really it's about Naples and focused in on the seven years he was in Italy. The story takes place in Naples, but the characters were all Argentinian. And everything that happened before he gets to Naples is what sets up the story. And so all of the voices, in a way, are people that he met in Argentina or in Barcelona. So I needed to do that to know who they, the most important voices and contributors would be before we get to the place where the drama kicks off. Watching the games in the World Cup and watching kind of the matches, the league matches, because really the aim is to find moments or, or shots or scenes that visually tell you about a character, but they're not going to be in books. You know, they're not, they're not, the, and the idea is to find footage that no one's seen really as much as possible. So that does mean that myself or the editor just watching hundreds, if not thousands of hours of material bit by bit to find a little moment that you can put into a movie. One of the reasons to do it was the fact that it wasn't a story about someone who died young. Um, you know, tragically, Senna and Amy died really young at the kind of peak of the powers. And, and, and the idea is, well, I don't want to do that again. And what happens if you get old? What if you're a sports person and you get old and you lose your gift and you lose your talent? And what if you're someone who's got, you know, loves chaos and, and needs drama, needs love and needs attention, and the minute you get it, you make a fight and get rid of everyone and fire everyone. So that idea of what happens after and growing up and having kids and families and divorces and the messiness of life is why this was interesting, but also why it was challenging because it's not a neat, you know, they're tragic endings, but it's not a neat cinematic ending. And one of the things I ended up doing when I was interviewing all of the key contributors, I did, I did so I end up saying to them, where do you think the film ends? You know, because they'll be like, ha, oh, good luck. You know, we've written books about him. And the minute we sent it to the publisher, he'll do something tomorrow that means the book's irrelevant. And I think that was a challenge, was to somehow have an ending, but which also is slightly more kind of open to interpretation for people to, the audience to take from it what they want. He's just this contradiction. He's such a complex character. He really is charismatic and has a really amazing energy. And he's funny and he's sweet and he's got his brightness of him, but he's really dark. He's a real street guy. He's like a little gangster, you know. He, he, he comes from a really tough, rough place and he is a street fighter. And so he just has these two sides. And I think that's really what came out in the making of the film is this idea that He's like an angel and he's a devil. He's a really good guy, he's a really sweet guy, but he also can be really horrible sometimes. And that's all him. And, and he, you don't know who you're going to deal with day to day, and the people around him don't know who they're going to deal with. It's almost like I'm making a film when I'm meeting him in Dubai, when I interviewed him. Is the person I'm meeting now the same person that I'm making the film about then? Is he the most reliable witness to his own story? Or actually, should I just make the film as if he's not around anymore? And that was some of the challenges, you know, he keeps you on your toes, I tell you that. 